The Tenergy TB6B is a powerful all-in-one balance charger that can be used with multiple battery packs, including those used for RC cars, helicopters, airsoft, and even custom-built battery packs. The charger is designed to support nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium, LiPo, LiFi, and SLA batteries of varying voltages. The following video will explain the functions of the charger, as well as showcase demonstrations of the charger in use with step-by-step -step instructions to make your experience easier. The front features an easy-to-read LCD screen which displays all of the functions and information. Below the screen are four keys to adjust the settings. The mode key allows you to adjust the battery type. This key is also the main menu button and can be used to stop the charging process if necessary. The decrease and increase keys let you browse information when setting parameters, and the enter start key is used to confirm the settings and start charging. All of the input and output ports are located on the side of the charger. The charger includes a Tenergy Octopus multi-harness plug, which carries a JST, Standard Tamiya, Traxxas, Mini Tamiya, Hi-Tech, Genuine Deans, and EC3 connectors. Now that we know the cables and layout of the TB6, let's walk through how to set up and save charger settings. For this example, I will be setting up an 11.1 volt, 1600 milliamp LiPo battery. First, you want to plug in the battery. Be sure to plug in the balancing board and cable for the LiPo and phosphate batteries only. Plug the battery into the balancer and also into the octopus cable. You want to begin by going to the save data option. You can get here by pressing the decrease button. Once you've got the right setting, you want to press enter. You then want to save this setting. For this charge, it'll be my first setting, so I'll save it as 01. Press enter. You want to change the chemistry to match your battery. For this example, I am charging a LiPo, but if I wanted to use a different chemistry, I would press the decrease or increase buttons to browse through. But again, this is a LiPo battery, so you want to press enter. You then want to match your voltage. You can browse through using the decrease or increase buttons. My voltage is 11.1, .1. press enter. You want to also match the milliamp to the battery that you're charging. Again, mine is at 1600, so I will press and hold the enter button. It's important that you hold enter or it won't go to the next screen. On the next screen, it'll showcase um, the function that you're doing. I want to change this, especially for LiPo batteries, to LiPo balance. It's really important that you get to the balance function so that you know that your battery is balancing properly. Now that I'm at LiPo balance, I'm going to press enter. I want to change the rate of charge. Um, in this case, 1.6 would be ideal for my battery. So I'll go ahead and go down to 1.6. I'll press enter. I then want to match the voltage to my battery. It's not 7.4, I want to go back up to 11.1. .1. And again, you want to press and hold the enter button. All right, so now it has saved all of my data. Now to load that data that you've just saved onto the balance charger, you first want to go to the load data option by pressing the DEC button, and then you want to press enter. You want to go to the settings that you saved. In this case, I did save it as number one, so you want to press and hold enter. This will then load the information that you've saved. As you see here, it automatically loads LiPo charge, which is one of the settings that was previously saved on this charger, but this is not the balance charge. So I want to go through here by pressing the decrease and increase buttons to scan through, and I want to find the correct settings. In this case, LiPo balance. I saved my settings as LiPo balance. So once I get here, it'll show up all the information that I saved earlier, 1.6 amps, 11.1 .1 volts. That is correct and does match my battery. You always want to double check that all of these settings are correct. Because they are correct, I'm going to press and hold the enter button. The charger will then locate the battery. It sees that my battery is plugged in and you want to confirm by pressing enter. And that's it. My battery is now charging and it shows me all the information here. Now if you're charging your battery and for whatever reason the battery becomes disconnected, as I'll do here, the charger will notice that the battery is no longer plugged in and it'll produce an error screen. There you go. Now to stop the charge, you want to come in and push the mode button. Now if you notice that the battery is connected, it's telling us it's a connection error. What you want to do is go ahead and plug it back in. Make sure you check all of your connections. Okay, I've plugged this battery back in and to begin the charging again, I just have to hold the enter button. Make sure all my settings are correct. LiPo 
balance. 1.6 amps, 11.1 volts, that is correct. I'm gonna press and hold the enter button. Checking for my battery, it's gonna take me back to the confirmation screen and I wanna press enter. And now my battery is charging again. When the battery is full and no longer in need of charging, the charger will beep rapidly. Press the mode button to stop charging. I will now show you how to charge a battery without saving the settings using a nickel metal hydrite battery. First, plug in the battery. Scroll through the setting options until you find the correct chemistry and press enter. You then want to change the rate of charging or the amps. Scroll through until you find the correct setting and press and hold the enter button. The battery is now charging. However, we recommend saving settings onto the charger for a more accurate and custom charging experience. For this nickel metal hydrate battery, it saves as follows. Go to save data and press enter. Save this as a number, press enter. Change the chemistry, press enter. Change the voltage to match the battery, press enter. Change the milliamp to match the battery, but you then want to press and hold the enter key. You then want to change the current rate of charge to match your battery. Hold, press and hold enter. Your settings are now saved. The charger does not include the wall plug unless bought in the following combo, so be sure to check when ordering. If you have any more questions about the TB6B, you can download the product manual or contact us via customer service.